Welcome to My Route Online. This video will be a short tutorial on how to get started using our program. Any questions not answered in this video can be answered in our user guides. The user guides contain a great deal of information on things such as making manual changes, emailing your routes to drivers, navigating with our free smartphone app, and loads of other topics. Let's start by making sure we're logged into the program. If you look in the upper right hand corner and it says disconnected or free user, please click on the menu icon and select login from the drop down menu. Once logged in, the first step is to import our addresses. I will select import a local file. This should be an XLS or CSV file. Selecting a file will open the import wizard and in the wizard we will choose how we want the data to be treated. To make our first address as the start address, we click Set First as Start Address. We can make our routes a return trip by clicking Return to Start Address. Alternately, if the end address is different from our start address, we can check Set Last as End Address so long as the end address is the last in our imported list. We should make sure that the column headers reflect the type of data that is in the columns. Our title field should be the customer name or other information related to the customer. The address field should be only addresses. If there is an apartment number or suite number, include this in the title field or in a comments field and this information will be carried through to the output. Down below, we see a sample preview of how the import will look in the address list. Click Import Now and the program will import our addresses. After the addresses are imported, I will click Set Goals to go to the Goals section where we can tell the program the parameters we want it to consider when planning our routes. We can set a departure time that will apply to all of the routes in the set. We can also include a service time that will apply to all stops, and this will be included in the route time calculations. A quick note, you can also set individual service times in the address list or by importing them from your spreadsheet. The number of routes can be indicated in this menu to tell the program how many routes we want to create. Alternately, we could limit our routes based on items such as max route duration or max stops per route. Please use only one of the three and not a combination. Our optimization goal can be minimum distance, minimum time, balance distance and time, or keep order as is. Please consult our user guides for details about other parameters in the Goals tab. Click Plan My Route, and in a few seconds the program will produce your routes. Actual time may vary based on the number of stops in your route set. When the routes are created, we can make manual changes to those routes as necessary. Detailed information about manual changes can be found in our user guides. Once the routes are the way we want them, we can email by clicking Email and Navigate. From here, the routes can be sent to drivers who can open them on their smartphones. Once open on a smartphone, a driver can either navigate one stop at a time or use our free app to automatically queue the stops for navigation app such as Waze or Google Maps and get verbal turn-by-turn -turn directions. We can also export the routes to a spreadsheet or, as a monthly subscriber, save them online for future use. I hope this helps you get started using our program. If you have any other questions, please consult our user guides or email us at support at myroutonline.com. Thank you for watching and thank you for using MyRouteOnline.